Alrighty guys, how's it going today? We're going to be looking at the best class setup video for the Striker 45 submachine gun. We finally got this bad boy gold and I have cycled through just about every attachment combination you could think of while trying to get the camo done for this thing. And for those of y'all wondering, the way that you get the Striker 45 is you have to purchase the battle pass and then work your way up to level 31 where you will unlock the Striker 45 and then have free use of it. Now jumping into the attachments that you're going to want to throw on this thing, we're going to be starting off with the muzzle and going down to the compensator. Now with this weapon, our two main objectives is to improve our accuracy and improve our ADS time, okay? Well, this thing's 45 ACP, you got really good damage, and you actually have pretty good range, especially compared to the other submachine guns. Then we're gonna go down to underbarrel throw on the Ranger foregrip. Uh, with this one, I cycled through all of them. Once again, the operator foregrip just has no, no use or purpose. The commando foregrip and tactical foregrip, I noticed they weren't nearly as accurate as the Merc or Ranger. Uh, but when it came to the Merc and the Ranger, there wasn't a lot of difference that I could notice, uh, but it seemed like the Ranger your foregrip was slightly better, so that's the one we're going to go with. Uh, now, we're going to be putting on the slide of hand perk, because the reload time for this thing, it seems extremely unnecessarily slow. I don't know, I hope that's something they end up buffing in the future, uh, just with the standard reload time, because, I mean, it is, it just... It's just sloth slow. So now, depending on the game mode you're playing, you might want to swap out between slide of hand and uh, throwing on the 45 round mag. But since we're going to be hopping into a hardcore lobby, we're going to just go with slide of hand because we, you know, you can still easily get, you know, one, two shots on people. So the standard mag is plenty. Then we're going to backtrack a little bit, go to the grip, and we're going to be throwing on the FTAC G-5 XO, which that's, a, that's just a long name for something. It's just a lightweight grip. Uh, for quicker ADS time. And finally, we're going to go up to stock and be throwing on the XRK Gen 3 Survivalist series once again for the ADS time. So that's how this bad boy will look after you get all five attachments laid on there. And I mean, I gotta say, this gun right here, I love the way it looks. And I just love 45 ACP submachine guns. And it's just, it's a wonderful addition to the game. And for a full class rundown, we got the Striker 45 set up where I just showed you. We got the 1911 not quite set up the way I did in uh, my 1911 setup video because I've got this set up with my Akimbo class setup. I finally got all the pistols uh, Akimbo to unlock and those videos will be dropping very soon for the Akimbo uh, pistols pistol class setup, so be looking forward for that. For our perks, we got EOD hardline shrapnel, lethal, we got a frag grenade, and our tactical spot, we got a flash grenade. Oh, me old my old banana pie, we got shoot house hot dog, I haven't got to play shoot house in a hot minute, I just, I don't know, I just haven't got it in my playlist, but we're playing hardcore free for all, just for the sheer fact, that is mainly what I've been playing, because I've been able to shoot through these camos, I mean, I am flying at a just outrageous speed getting my guns gold, getting classes, or I guess class groups platinum. But look, I need you guys to give me some feedback and let me know if you, you know, if you don't like seeing the hardcore gameplay, um, then let me know so that I can fix it and play something else because I just didn't want to hop right into core um, after playing all this hardcore because, you know, I, I'm used to just like, as that right there, just one and two tapping people and I've, I've adjusted this, but core, hello? Oh, I guess there's a guy under me. Uh, core is still by far my favorite game mode without a doubt. It's just, you know, I don't want to shift in between like what I'm playing actively and trying to transition. Okay, I need to mute these people because that guy just absolutely screamed in my ear for killing him. Man, I, but I mean, as you can see, the way we got this gun set up, extremely accurate, extremely fast, uh, sprint to sprint. English, please, mouth, work with me. Sprint to fire speed uh, and all that good old stuff. So, I mean, I don't think we'll have any problem taking the top spot right here with this setup. But you got to remember, this is free-for-all. So, uh, even this class is designed to be set up to be the most well-rounded. Hello there, game. Where'd he go? Don't even don't even pay attention to me. My, my focus is up because we got guys playing a bit more aggressive than, I, than you normally run into or that I have been running into the past few matches. So, I want to make sure that... Uh, I can get this. I might have to do a little bit of spawn killing, just as you witnessed right there, to make sure that I can claim that top spot. I need him to start pushing this way, and I need to get a UAV up in the air. So I don't want to. I don't want to camp, and we're not camping. You know, it's only camping if you stay in the same spot for like more than five kills. At least that's I want to justify uh, what I'm saying. And you'll have people popping in this back area the whole game because that's just how. Uh, that's how shoot house works on free for all. My God, that guy right there is cooking through the kills. He needs to calm her down and share. I seen that guy spawn right there. Watch. Oh my wiener dog! That guy pushing in from junkyard. 
Oh, this is where this is where uh, hard. What? Hello, we shot that man in the hill. Forty-five ACP on hardcore. What is happening here? Okay, we got it though. Ain't nothing but a small thing. Oh, I'm about to kill myself. God, man, we, yeah, we gotta we gotta play a bit more aggressive and push up. But now, I mean, this is a class. This gun has really good range and damage. Forty-five ACP. Like, I'm really glad they added this gun in. Dude, I don't understand though why I'm getting these hit markers all of a sudden. But you know what? It don't. Uh, it ain't gonna hurt us. I just. Well, I'm actually kind of glad that this game is going by the way it is, so that it don't. Uh, it don't end up going on too quickly, because sometimes these free for all matches, uh, you know, they're over in the blink of an eye. So anytime you can get somebody ahead of you with a little bit of a lead, it's actually a good thing, in my opinion, because I want the game to last as long as possible, so that you can really capitalize on kills. So getting somebody. Um, I head off, as long as they don't get like streaks and stuff because streaks can be really frustrating if I can get a VTOL we'll be We'll be peachy king as far as I'm concerned I know that somebody's going to spawn there here in a minute because they're clustering up over there on that side So they're going to be pushing to this back wall area I need to reload when I got a chance so now if you've got an opportunity to use this gun You'll know what I'm talking about when I say the reload time is extremely slow uh, and I mean it really don't even make sense why it's as slow as it is. I guess that's just something they they felt they needed to do to help balance this weapon out. I am so sorry. I've definitely been sitting there way too long. So let's push you out in the middle of the map. I mean it's just so easy to get kills right there. So you kind of have to. You can't. You can't blame me. I mean you seen you seen how we bridge the gap right there. We're gonna pop this guy right here as soon as he walks in through there. Oh, but the, the penetration on this isn't good, and it, I mean, it shouldn't be from a realistic standpoint. Let's just say just running full metal jacket. The fact that the hollow points are a uh, are an option on here <clears throat> uh, leads me to the believe that this is shooting some kind of uh, some kind of ammunition other than hollow points, which I wouldn't quite understand from uh, from the point of how this is. But I mean, look at us. We're just we're just running through everybody, and I mean. You can do the same on core. Don't get me wrong. It's just about you know adjusting to uh, adjusting to, to the game mode and playlist that you're in, along with the maps that you'll be playing. Like this this gun, I don't even like Rust, but this gun plays amazing on. Is that a sentry gun? It really is. Okay, so we got that guy camping right there, camping our spawn. But like you know, that's what we've been doing to everybody else. So okay, let's avoid that sentry gun. Oh, okay, he got us. He got us. He got us with that little bit of a spray and pray. I was really hoping that my uh, my grenade would come back and bite him in the butt, but I don't think it did. Whoo! Okay, well we can't let nobody catch up to us now. We got a seven kill lead, so I think a seven kill lead's more than enough to take home the victory. Now up next, I should have the Og video because I've got it gold recently, and I got that requested, so I went ahead and got that out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna try to get those Akimbo class setup videos up for you guys, and then. We're going to be moving on to shotguns, and I got the P90 uh, video going to be dropping. Bro, where did everybody go? Come here, come here, come here. Don't start lagging on me now. This game has been relatively lag-free, and we was able to dominate for that section, so as long as we don't get some uh, some cheeky lag popping in. What is with the spawns here, game? Why is nobody like spawning back here? Okay, I guess we're going to push mid-map. That's fine with me. I don't mind pushing out, and I didn't want to stay in that one spot, but come on now. Unless everybody's just singing Kumbaya up in the office building, we should have uh, we should have people spawning. Hello, game. What is happening, Captain? There, okay. So now, okay, we're, we're getting back in the groove of things. This game's about over. I'm really hoping that it lasts long enough for us to hit our uh, usual 10-minute benchmark by the time I edit this together, but... If not, so be it. Not that big of a deal. I'm surprised there ain't people camping on the overlooks of those walls right there to try to get long shots. I mean, there's other long shot opportunities here, but uh, that's just one of the best places to do it. And normally you have people consistently hopping up right there. So this is final kill. Let's see if we can get, I don't know, nothing. We ain't going to try to do nothing too crazy, but maybe a hip fire or something. Hip fires are, uh, a gr look at that, just right off the rip. Man, we got over a 2.0 KD, playing relatively aggressive. I know we had a little bit of a corner camp situation there. We was playing spawns, but it had to be done to make sure we took the lead. And like I said, we got a nice seven kill lead out of it. Ending with a hip fire. Guys, look, I mean, the battle pass, like I said, it's honestly a good investment if you play this game a lot because it's a relatively small amount of money. By the time you end up... Uh, you know, getting to level 100, you have more than enough COD points to get the battle pass again for, you know, I mean, 
you buy it once and you, and you have the opportunity to earn enough cod points to buy it again and again and again so i definitely recommend it because these new weapons are a great way to mix up the gameplay uh give a new light shed a new light on the game itself and they're just really fun to use so look as always, guys, I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you found this helpful. Be sure to share my channel and these videos with your friends that play Call of Duty or any of the other games that uh, I've played in the past. And, uh, yeah, be sure you smack that subscribe button. And until the next one, adios.